and enjoy it. Imagination Station is here. Dan's still playing around with the bubbles. I don't blame you. We were having Hi. fun during the break. Good morning, Dan. Good morning. Uh, welcome. All so right. it is almost summertime, and it's a beautiful day outside. Might as well be summer today, right? So I thought we'd talk some bubble science. OK, I like this. So I've got some bubble solution here. Uh, and this is amazing stuff. You can probably buy it at your store or anything yep. like that. Um, but there's a lot of cool science behind bubbles, and we have our own kind of secret recipe. It's not really a secret, but so this isn't the kind you didn't just take this out of one of those little jars and dump out 50 of them into this. No, we You're actually your own. we actually made this bubble solution okay. ourselves. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how. So to start off, um, you need a regular Dawn dish detergent. Probably have that at home already. Okay, you probably have this at home. Um, that we found that this works the best. Okay. Um, so you can use this, and today we're gonna use about 700 milliliters. If you don't know what that is, it's about... Almost the whole thing? This, the whole bottle. Yep. Okay, and um, we actually, our secret ingredient is called guar gum. Guar gum. Now this you probably don't have laying around the house. You might you? not have this at home. You might though, because actually it's a food additive and it's a oh. thickener. So and it's actually in food products. You can get it at Whole Foods, uh, some grocery stores, even Kroger carries. So it should be pretty easy so, to find. So it should be pretty easy to find and it's awesome stuff and you don't need that much. So what we're going to do is we're going to blend this in with our soap here. So I'm going to get, we only need about so we've got one the soap in here. tablespoon of water. I'm going to hand this to you, Ryan, and okay. I'm going to mix it up, and you slowly add that in so there. So slowly add it in there. So, so we're working together. Yeah, we want to get it in there, because we don't want it to clump up. It tends to clump up if you add it too quickly. So we're going to mix it in there slowly. Is this, us, blend it is this in. us making a cake here? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. A, okay, we'll add a little more. Mix it in, but what it does, it actually helps to strengthen the bubble, because it's a polymer. Oh. We don't to, nobody really understands why exactly how it works, so it's kind of interesting stuff. Okay. Right, and you and mix that in, get it all nice and incorporated, and then this is ready to go to add to some water. So it's just two ingredients. Okay, it's just two ingredients. And this is actually your bubble concentrate. So you don't want to use this. Okay, yes, this wouldn't probably wouldn't make very good bubbles, but if when you add it to uh, water, okay. um, you get it actually makes some amazing like bubbles. This. It actually makes some, uh, uh, if you put about a cup of this in a gallon of water, it'll yeah. make amazing bubble solution. So, okay. and on top of our amazing solution, okay, We've got, this is like a commercial bubble wand that you might get at the that's store. A, that's a fancy one there, okay. Okay, um, you, this is probably something you could buy at the toy store or something like that. But we've actually created <laughs> a souped up bubble wand version. I like this one, look at this, yeah. Okay, and uh, we've actually added some uh, cotton rope and yeah, wrapped so what it is around. It? So cotton rope, is that to help absorb them? So that's exactly right. It absorbs and helps hold all of our bubble juice. All right, so we can make even bigger, more elastic bubbles. Like that. This is this amazing stuff? So by using something that, that that polymer and holding it together a little bit stronger, that's how you can get these giant Exactly. Bubbles. So the detergent decreases that surface tension on the water, okay? And the polymer gives it that strength and kind of stretchiness. It makes it very elastic. Now, I think these are it pretty... It makes these amazing self-healing bubbles. <laughs> and they hold, they hold together forever until they hit a tree or something else. They're amazing. Else. Now, if you're going to make bubbles at home, okay, uh, the best time to do it is maybe like in the morning or in the evening when it's sure. not so hot because evaporate evaporation will kind of take its toll on the bubbles. Also, also not so windy. Also when it's not so windy and maybe uh, wait till a more humid day, which is okay. quite so easy to come by in Ohio. Right. Yep. Okay. Now this is cool and everything. These are, these are pretty big bubbles. These are really big bubbles. Can we make bigger bubbles? But I, I think we can. And if uh, you could join me okay, over here. Okay, let's go over here. I'll show you I what mean, we it's made. imagination station. So we always have to do everything bigger. We got to right? make it big. Okay. So if I took all those, all that uh, 700 milliliters of uh, super concentrate bubbles, we can make three gallons of bubbles to make last all summer. Awesome. Okay, so that's what I've made here. And I've created this really awesome contraption to make some huge bubbles and I, we kind of went over how to do this so you just lift it straight up out of the water okay so this the is that solution, cotton okay and then slowly spread it apart and see if we can make a big bubble here see that oh <laughs> it's amazing okay let's try it again try it again try it okay again. And this is something you can do at home um you don't need uh, all this fancy stuff if you got a couple of sticks uh maybe some fishing poles and some copper uh or copper rope uh some cotton rope now maybe back up a little bit try and make that bubble Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. You can make bubbles like this Professional at Professional bubble maker meteorologist right uh, there. Using just a couple of household things, probably things you already have around, some guar gum. All right, let's see All if right, we can, can make, make an even bigger one really here. Awesome let's see what bubbles. we can do. Okay, let's Look see if that. the wind will agree with us. There you go. Pull it out and kind of back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Awesome. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. <laughs> that was a pretty good one. Easy to do. You can get all this stuff, you know, at the grocery store. Very and easy you can make to do. Bubbles like this at home. All right, I'm gonna do one more as I send us off to break here, Dan. This is pretty awesome. Okay, ready, guys? All right, yeah. let's make one more here. One more. Hey, All real, right. 
If you guys come out May 27th, our yep. Dinosaurs Around the World exhibit is opening. You can come check that May out. May 27th. May 27th. Uh, oh, that was going to be our big finale. <laughs> All right, well, we'll be back with more Your Day in just a moment. One more big bubble. Ah, gusta wind. Darn. <laughs>